Hello students. So in this video we will learn advanced feature of Excel and topic to be covered of in this chapter chart and its components commonly used a chart type creating a chart combo charts and a spark lines goal seek and a consolidating data. So first is a chart. A chart is an effective way to display data in a pictorial form and chart make it easier to draw comparison and analyzes the growth relationship and trends among the values in a range. A chart provides more accurate analysis of information. If we wanted to represent our data or information of multiple users, so chart provides uh, our to different different kinds of a feature, different different kinds of a, uh, define, uh, designing to, uh, to display our chart in a pictorial form or a attractive formats. So when you inserted a chart, the data is a display in a special window called a data sheet, and this window is called a data sheet. And chart is it updated automatically with the changing in a data when we uh, change on the any kind in any cell or uh, any type of it data so chart is up automatically updated now we learn components of a chart so first is a chart area this area the chart area includes all objects and element in a chart like a plot area axis y axis x or a data series and a data table all are the elements or object in the chart area next is a axis category axis this is a category axis or a y axis is the horizontal axis of a chart this is the horizontal axis of the chart and value axis is a vertical axis of the chart so this is the categories this is represented the axis uh, x horizontal and uh, this is the vertically axis this is represent the values now next is a data series so data series the data is a related of set of data value this is our data series and it is a set of uh, values or a uh, data now next is the access title this is our access title and the and this is our access title these are the hiding given the x axis and a y axis and the title help in understanding what is being depicted on the axis now next is a plot area this is called a plot area this plot area is a window within a chart area this is our chart area and this is our plot area so it contain the actual chart and includes all the plotted dots and data series or a categories or a values called a plot area now next is a legends so this is our legends it's depicted the colors like uh, here is a profit in a red color or a, pa or a total sales in a blue color so different different kinds of a color pattern and a symbol assigned to the data series it is called a legends now next is a chart title this is the sales report this is the chart of our ti uh, title of our chart and it represent to your documents now next is a grid line these are horizontal lines called the grid lines these can either be horizontal or a vertical depends on the select chart type uh, they extend all across the plot area of a chart and grid line make it easier to read the understand the values now next is a chart components of a chart first is a chart area now next is a chart type so first is a column chart I, a column chart is a commonly used chart type to display data in a form of a vertical bar this is our column chart and it is display as a vertical bar or it shows our data in a vertical form it is the used to show change in a data over a period of a time or a comparison among the different data type items in a column chart category are represented on the horizontal on our uh, values along with the vertical axis like that and in a bar graph chart bar chart display the form of a long rectangular rods uh, it shows as a horizontally and also called a bar chart so that are placed vertically or horizontally in the chart area and a bar chart illustrate a comparison among the individual items and uh, in the chart of this type category are represent as a vertically or value are represent as a horizontally 
uh, and in our other words uh, in a column chart uh, category represent as a horizontally or a worldly represent as a vertically but in a bar chart values uh, represent as a horizontally and a category represent as a vertically now next is a line chart this chart is in form of a lines it is very similar to plotting a graph on a graph paper within its uh, values on the x and a y axis a line chart uses connecting dots to display trends in a data over a period and next is a pie chart so pie chart it is a circular chart divided into a sector where each sector shows the relevant size to each value and it always shows only on data when data series and i use its value useful value you want to emphasize on a significant elements now next is a donut chart this chart shows the relationship of a part to a whole and it display donut in the form of a ring where each ring represent a data series added into the chart and unlike a bar chart do chart are represented more than one data series now next is a step to creating a chart so move on to let's learn how to create a chart so first of all we move on to i mean we move on to excel so uh, just go to the search bar and uh, search ms excel and simply click on that and select the any blank workbook and uh, write some data so there i have a write some uh, name of the students uh, next is a subject which is english math and a science now name is a uh, arjun vanshika tanya ashi it's a tane ashi and teva and number is a uh, 24 now next is a math subjects number now write some number here and next is a science mark center so now if you wanted to uh, create any chart so it's uh, quite simple to create a chart in excel so follow is uh, some steps to create a, a new worksheet and uh, data as shown in this uh, screen in this excel sheet is this so click on the uh, simply just uh, click your all the data with the help of a mouse or with the help of a uh, shift plus arrow keys and select all the data go to the insert tab and select all the range where you wanted to uh, show column or headings or a row label and to be display in the chart and select go with the insert tab click on the insert tab there is a group of a chart there are different different this is the group of a chart and different different kinds of a chart is here like a column chart bar chart line chart or a different different kinds and the select a column chart so simply the and also there is also a chart but this is the spark line chart so simply select the chart and insert a chart and here is a, uh, also recommended chart uh, what you used to recommend a good chart to showcase your data so we have insert a click on that uh, there are different different types of a chart and select any kind of chart uh, what do you wanted to select or a uh, simply click on that so here is our click on the uh, here is our chart is inserted so click on the clustered column in the drop down list uh, which is already hum log insert kar chuke hain and display in the center of the worksheet see chart is displaying the center of our sheet so now two tabs name are designed on the formatted under the chart tool category on the ribbon so this is the different different kind, uh, chart category so uh, arun which is uh, i already told you that in a column chart values represent as a vertically and a column represent as a horizontally or uh, now here are different different kinds of uh, options which is or uh, click on the design if you wanted to uh, design your chart so simply go to the chart design tab 
it's also chart design uh, different uh, types of name with uh, from different types of windows so go with the chart type design and here is a color if you wanted to change the color of your chart so just select there any uh, type of design or any type of color or here is a chart style there are different different kinds of a chart style so just uh, click on the drop down list and you will get the different different kinds of a chart styles so simply select uh, the chart color and select your chart style see so to change the data range if you wanted to chart right click on the chart and click on the select data if you wanted to change your uh, data series or if you wanted to uh, changes any other any kind of any on data so simply uh, see i write the changes in a record so it is automatically updated on the chart see here and or simply uh, then just click on the chart go with the chart option and there here is a different different kinds of switching row if you wanted to switch row so presses this so or if you wanted to uh, select data uh, that you wanted to show in your chart or uh, if i want i don't want to showing arjun data in, um, in my chart so simply un, uh, deselect it and click on the okay button so see it's not visible now uh, with the help of a type group you can also change your chart type just click on that and there are several types of charts like a line chart pie chart bar chart area chart like that so i'll go with the bar chart and select different different kinds of a chart see now select it and press okay so our chart is changed now next is a chart see now next is a chart title adding a chart title see if i wanted to add a chart title so just click on the following chart simply hit here is our chart title or a uh, change of our chart like a uh, marks record marks record yeah uh, marks of students so simply give it to a uh, title or a uh, also uh, change the color of the title or a uh, color or text of the title with the help of an home tab or a formatting our chart so simply select your text and here is a different different kinds of a uh, font style or a different different uh, or you can also increase or decrease your uh, chart title font you can all change your uh, color of your title right so is it and a list of uh, options are uh, uh, different different or chart element you can also join or uh, insert your chart element here is your add chart element if you wanted to uh, add access title or you wanted to chart title a uh, data label so here is a different different kinds of options uh, jo, uh, what do you wanted to use now next is a uh, adding a access title so simply go to the design tab and select the access title so see uh, with the add chart and it's it's access title your uh, choice is your uh, to insert a horizontally or a vertically so vertical uh, i already selected a access title which is vertically so this is the student's name name of the students and simply this is our category y axis and already inserted the axis uh, y axis text title so uh, access title box will be appear in the bottom and type the access in the click in the outside of the chart like that like this or a uh, selecting a primary vertical option now next is a uh, uh, same as it is adding a data label simply click on the uh, ch add chart element and select with the data label there are different different kinds of uh, data ki ya aapko jo aap if you uh, inserted the data so a center showing in a uh, inside end or inside base or outside of your uh, chart and same as it is adding a table data it's a table data if you wanted to show your data as in a table or in a pattern so just go with the data label and select with the legend key or the no legend key now adding a legends i already told you that a legend is a depicted the color pattern on a symbol assigned to the data series so adding a data label 
see i already selected and adding a legends so simply go with the this and a uh, uh, go with the adding chart uh, elements and selected legends so it it's up to you that you wanted to insert it on the right insert it on the top or a left or a bottom so i wanted to insert as a right so simply click on and it shows the legends that uh, uh, what is the uh, category to be inserted in the chart now as it it's here now move on to formatting a chart formatting improves the appearance of a chart we can format a chart by adding a title changing text font line color width border style legend data series and so on so we can also change the number on the value axis height or show grid line so changing a background color or a changing a background color formatting the legend so simply just select your uh, text or just select your chart simply uh, we modify to chart by changing its color and pattern or a background so simply click on the uh, its uh, right click on the your chart plot area and select the format palette it's a format outline if you wanted to fill color or a different kind of shape or uh, uh, how you wanted to show your simply select a plot area so, so your plot area is selected or uh, if you wanted to fill color a different color in your chart a plot area right see or if you wanted to uh, give outline to your plot area so uh, fill color with a solid color or different different kinds of option 